welcome everyone today the topic is who built yodhavara so let us state a fact here there is no direct reference to yodhavara or the canal has been found in any ancient book mahavansa chulavansa pujavali all are silent on this work so you are not going to see anything about yodhavara directly Uh, but there are a lot of reservoirs that are not been identified but we don't have any reference in mahavans or chulavans or pujavali or rajavali any of those books directly like manihira is minneri we could clearly see that uh, kalavapi is kalavava uh, we could clearly see that and the, it was located as explained in mahavans but there is no such direct reference in any of these historical books so um so the very famous irrigation engineer s r mugam he uh, in his book development development of water resources in ceylon i have that book here you know in giant tank he wrote um nicholas considers nicholas is the uh, famous historian c w nicholas colin wade nicholas so he is saying this is arumugam writing is arumugam nicholas considers the possibility of this work being identical with mahanama matavapi a tank in the north with 17 mile canal augmentation constructed during the reign of king datusen and which was later listed as one of the tanks restored by parakram bab so basically arumugam don't have anything to say he just say send it send you to nicholas no he has no uh, anything to say he just say you know nicholas said this so we go to nicholas this is c w nicholas book historical Trop- topography of ancient and medieval ceylon uh, c w nicholas is a very famous uh, ancient historian uh, 18 he lived he lived in like 1970s um 1980s or 70s so um in his book in 1969 he referred he he says this this is his theory okay mahapatanaju mentioned in the sigri graffiti means the island of mana so mahapatanaju you know is mana he is saying and mannar or mannaram person mana was a village near mahatit and tamil invaders held sway there in the reign of parakram bau too so so far he's just explaining what mana you know area is and then he says manamat also called manamatu and manavatu was the name of a tank and a district he found this evidence in pujavali so in pujavali there is the manamat the construction of the tank is ascribed to datu sen so in pujavali says manamat tank was built by king datu sen and parakramba one restored uh, mahanama manamat ka tank so looks like you know parakramba restored that tank in the 13th century tamil invaders occupied this district manat matta tank was probably present giant tank yoda river so okay all right so uh, nicholas is saying that you know pujavali says manamatta tank was built by king datu sen let's go step by step so pujavali says manamatta tank was built by king datu sen that's what the puja wali says now how do we know this manamatta e tank is the yodhavara he say manamatta means mana manamatta means mana he how does he say mahapatumchi is mana and there is no direct way to say manavat manamatta is mana but um mannar today mana but english word is mana but used to be mannar so mannar rhyme with manamatta so if there is a reservoir in manamatta 
this this is the only reservoir in my area, the only big reservoir. So he say Manamata rhyme with mana, Manara. Um, so that's why he believed this Manamata tank mentioned in Puja earlier is Yodavala. Well, you know, it's up to you to believe or not to believe, and this is what um, Nicholas says. Manamatta tank is Yodavava because Manamatta rhyme with mana. We really cannot say exactly Manamatta means mana. Manamatta rhymes with Mannara. So Manamatta, there's only one big tank, and that's Yodavava. So that's his theory. And there's another theory by Mudaliya C. Rajanagam in his book, Ancient Jaffna, he suggests that this was built by Naga people a long time ago. Now let's look at uh, this theory and some let's give some facts about this. The bund is not too tall compared to like 70 feet, feet tall bunds of Mineri. This is only 10, 15 feet tall. So the bund is not too tall. So you don't really have need much of a technology. You need a lot of labor to build a long bun, but technology-wise, it's not much. The bun could have done over a very long period of time. You know, it's a, it's a not too tall. It's a long bun. It could have, you know, they could have taken that time. The project overall is not a complicated project. Yodhuvava is not a complicated project. You don't need a Bisoko tool. And the spillway is naturally ex existing rock formation. So only thing done was the bun and if you look here so if you look here the water comes from here and um, you know you can locate a contour mark in um, and you have this rock formation and probably have some other rock formations so you could build this bun um, over a long period of time um, but it's absurd to believe that such a big tank existed when King Vijay came. Um, we know that when Vijay came, that there was rice, because Mahavansa mentions that there was rice in Kuwaini's time. And there were ponds, you know, Pokurani was uh, mentioned in Mahavansa when King Vijay came. So there were ponds and there was rice. But such a big reservoir and that could feed millions of people is doubtful. I don't, I don't buy that. But what could possibly happen was that there could have been a natural water body here. There could have been some bonds built and there could have been a smaller reservoir. And then later on, this bond was probably bond could have been somewhere here, a small one. And then could have been extended over a long period of time and this reservoir came. But still the question of the canal and the anicut remains, you know, those things are a little complicated. You know, I, I remember if you go to the anicut, you know, the see these things are complicated stuff. Definitely has to be built on later times. Um, so the vava itself could have been built on ancient times the, the major work here is the anicut. So that we don't know. So that's the evidence that we have and, you know, kind of flimsy in my opinion, but um, that's what we got. Thanks a lot for listening.